So my kid is a furry. My middle daughter is 14. She has told her sister that she identifies as a furry. I'm not even quite sure what all that means. When I asked her about it, she said it's someone who wears an animal costume. My husband told her absolutely no way you can be a male or you can be a female, but you're not going to be an animal or a toaster or an inanimate object. I guess my question is what exactly is a furry? And what, as a parent, should I be doing, saying, encouraging, discouraging? I think in general she is trying to find herself. I try to be open and encouraging and accepting of her. I know that she has a lot of friends that are all over the gender identity, scale, spectrum or whatever and pan, friends, trans, friends, etc. and is very supportive of all of them. And I've asked her if she likes girls or boys or it identifies as any of those things and she says no and I reinforce that I just want her to be happy whatever it is. But a furry? I don't know how to get on board with that. I also realize that just because I'm unaware of something or uncomfortable with something it doesn't make it wrong. It just makes it different. However, this is so far out of my comfort zone zone. So if you guys could be kind to this nearly 50-year-old mom who is trying to figure out life with the younger kids in today's world, I would appreciate any insight. Love the line that says they don't identify as animals but identify with animal. Unfortunately if she's online in furry communities there's a lot of porn. I come into contact with it through memes. I just make sure she's safe, maybe actively get excited and over-involved as a parent tactic to make her uninterested if you're up for that. I think the top comment has the best response. Furries aren't inherently sexual, but a large part of the community is sexual. I don't have any insight to furries but I do remember back in 1976 when my parents told me I couldn't be a punk rocker. And how well that worked for them. Maybe your husband had a similar situation he could relate to before forbidding your daughter from being herself. The big issue with furry culture is that people erase their identities in favor of the animal identity, and oftentimes age as well. Be very careful of predators as most participating in these online communities would likely be over 18. If she has a relationship or sexual talk with anyone then it's probably illegal. Furry culture is not innately bad, but it's actually unbelievably erotic and kinky, with an incredible focus on sex. Not appropriate for a minor especially interacting with adults in the community. Humans have been creating representations of themselves with animal traits for thousands of years, since the beginning of art. The oldest statue ever discovered is a man with the head of a lion Holenstein Staddle lion man if you want to look it up. Furry culture is just the modern incarnation of that. People often feel a strong connection to animals, and want to depict themselves with animal traits, maybe to display some aspect of their personality or just to have fun. It's not an identity so much as it is a form of expression. There are hella groomers in the furry community. It's like being a Redditor. It's not exactly something to be ashamed of, nor necessarily something to be proud of. Of course as a parent it's one's duty to indulge your offspring since they lack your experience and knowledge. It's like if your kid tells you they are a white supremacist. Don't be judgmental. Hi mom. I'm a mom too. You're absolutely right, at teen age, kids try on all different kinds of selves, it's part of growing up. They may be furry, they may be punk, they may be straight edge, believe me, it will change more than once. My only rule at that age was they couldn't do anything permanent, like tattoos or other stuff they'd regret in a year. As long as they are clean and sober and not hurting themselves or anyone else, try not to fret too much. They grow up just fine as long as they know they are loved unconditionally. Peace. Congrats on being a good parent. Getting advice from weirdos on Reddit is probably not a good idea though. Be wary of people who say it isn't anything sexual because a very large part of the community is extremely sexual and she will get exposed to that section eventually. I feel like it isn't a particularly safe hobby for underage persons just because how rooted in fetish sex it is. Not everyone has a sexual relation with it, but too many do for a 14-year-old to be engaged in it. IDK, just seems like a can of worms. 
How do you tell a child no for their hobby until they are of age without them hating you? Furry here I really recommend talking to your daughter about internet safety in the furry community being a furry is inherently harmless, but like any community, disgusting people can use it as a way to get access to minors. I really recommend going over internet safety, who is and isn't your friend, as well open up a safe space for her to come to you if anyone tries anything creepy. It's either a phase or it's not, you don't really have a say in that once a human learns and starts really expressing themselves. Luckily the general furry community will out most of the problematic people. They tend to wear their bullshit on their sleeve. One thing most young furries need to know is to stay away from 18 plus spaces. Most simply don't realize the trouble they can bring themselves and everyone else. As others have said, most furries just enjoy dressing up in cartoon animal costumes or wearing bunny ears or something. Hardly anyone actually considers themselves to be an animal. A furry is not a gender identity, it's a hobby or self-expression. Just people who like to dress up as animals, they are still male or female. Your kid just likes to dress up and pretend to be an animal, they haven't changed gender or sexuality. It's nothing sex or gender related. It's more like a hobby. So long as that's clear there's no harm. I don't have any advice but I want to compliment you on your open-mindedness, willingness to learn, and showing support for your child. Too much internet. I don't have much to input here, except you're being a great parent by asking. My four parents all would have kicked me out if I was anything but straight. So good on you for actually caring about your child I was a be seen when called, a never to be heard child. Parents like you give me hope for the future. Take away TikTok. Yeah it's more like anime fan or belieber or goth. It's a fandom hobby style it's not a gender or anything. I have friends who are furries. I also have dealt with furries I do not care for. In my somewhat limited experience furries are either the most chill, open-minded people on earth or literal Nazis. I wouldn't dissuade your kid from exploring their identity but I would try to have constant conversations about who and what is influencing them. A furry is just a person who enjoys anthropomorphic characters and considers themselves a part of the community who enjoys them too. Being a furry doesn't mean that she identifies as an animal, it probably just means she created a character to represent her personality a furzona fur persona. You probably have nothing to worry about, but some furry spaces online can be weird sexual, so just monitor it a little bit to make sure she's being safe. Think of it like a hobby instead of an identity. I think in general she is trying to find herself. Ding 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 ding. Probably a phase, but if not, just go with it and make sure that the lines of communication remain open. You've got this. I can tell you this from my experience being a 14-year-old if you tell her she can't do it she's going to do it even harder. I do think it's a little alarming your husband jumped to assuming your child is trans over a hobby. Hope he can chill out some. As long as they aren't hurting themselves or other and not fucking animals I think it's perfectly fine. The more you fight it, the more you encourage it. Ultimately it's your kid's life and none of your business. Some things in life people just have to try out for themselves. Thank the God that it's something so harmless. If she wants to wear a costume to school, warn her that other kids might start bullying her, but otherwise let her make her own decisions. Only point in holding the line on really damaging stuff, like plastic surgery and so on. When she's 18 she can do whatever she wants with that aspect of her life as well, but not before. I like the implication that your husband thinks toasters are animate. Good luck with that one lol. Swap out the word furry for goth and you have every other kid in 2005. Sounds like your kid just enjoys dressing up. Furry is a sexual kink not an identity, be subtle but definitely do not support this, I'm on board with your husband on that one. When I was 12 I told my parents that I was a vegetarian because I wanted to shock them, because I felt like it was me, and because it set me apart from others. It was 1990. This is the same thing. 